Hello everybody, Peter of England here bringing you another update, this time on debt assumption. The debt assumption uh, video was one of the shortest but one of the most successful that we ever did. And I've never done an update on it and so for the people who haven't joined uh, either re-movement, uh, contacted Freeman Legal Services or become a member of Weir Bank and open an account, I'd just like to stress the significance of Weir Bank. Now, in 1931 in the United Kingdom, 1933 in the United States, the currency of both countries was uh, debauched. Up until that time there was something called finality of settlement. All debts, public and private, could be settled in gold or silver. Now, after those um, pieces of legislation, um, especially in 1933, the Gold Confiscation Act by Roosevelt, after that point, every single individual in the United States, in Britain, and then globally, was forced into what's called the public sector. There was no ability to settle. Now, We Are Bank has reintroduced the concept of what's called finality of settlement under common law. So, We Are Bank, for free men out there, is a common law bank. You must understand the difference. And what that means is, once a debt is settled, it's settled. Once money is loaned, it's loaned finally. There is no interest attached to it. If there is a small percentage charge, it's a charge just like um, a, a, a fixed charge that would be there for having a car service. It's a known amount at the beginning, which could be a pound, it could be 50, but it's not dependent upon the fractional reserve system of what's called principal and then principal part plus interest. So there's no fiat uh, element to it whatsoever. So that's very important for you to understand. So, from 1931, 1933, the global financial marketplace took away all your ability to pay for your debt. And what you had to do from that point, you had to go to a central bank, whether it's the Federal Reserve in New York, whether it's the Bank of England in the United Kingdom, the Bank of France, Italy, or wherever else, and obtain their promissory notes which used to be backed by gold and silver, but after that were backed by nothing. So the notes are only the paper themselves. But what's never happened is the public have never detached the promissory notes parentage, which used to be gold backed, from the fact that the gold was removed, or the silver, and now the note, they still think, has got some inherent worth. It's nothing. On average, a note is worth about one pence, or a cent, um, to produce and run off the mills. Worthless pieces of paper. That may be as it is. Now, the other point for the debt assumption, whereby we are bank, or through Freeman, we, uh, Freeman Legal Services, is prepared to take on and uh, assume your debt, some individuals have come back and said that either the judge or the creditor, so-called, has said it's not allowed. Well, what we must point out is that if they're telling you it can't be done, you must go back and also counter the argument that uh, equality before the law is paramount. It is a fundamental between parties in a contract. Now, nobody would disagree for one moment that either Barclays Bank or Santander Bank or American Express Bank or Credit Suisse or whoever they are can assign your debt to another party. That's common practice. Now, if they can do that without consulting you, why can you not, on the other side of the contract, equally assign your responsibility? Especially if you're in a situation where you're doing an honourable thing because you're in a, 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 a financial distress and have no ability to pay anymore. Not an ability to pay because of your um, mismanagement, but the fact is that the, s the system was always set up that a indeterminate but certain number of individuals within the global pool have to go bankrupt or have to be unable to pay 
due to the fact that there is not um, an imbalance on the equation between P. P is always less than principal plus interest. Um, I won't go into too much detail, but for those who are mathematically inclined, they'll understand what I mean. Now, we are bank. We are bank stepping in again as a common law finality of settlement uh, institution, a free man's bank. We encourage you to contact us and to open an account now before it becomes too late to open an account because another aspect is we a bank has been given access to a quantitative easing package equivalent to what the Federal Reserve of New York has been pumping into global markets. One trillion sterling denominated is the amount that we a bank by a various we called um, from time to time foundation that you might see Lord James of Blackheath speaking about in the House of Lords um, has been, um, should we say, party to helping we a bank um, ameliorate or help make better the plight of general populations. The Federal Reserve and the banking cartels have only been interested in giving the 15 trillion or so since 2008, which they've electronically established into the markets, to their own cronies and to their own capitalist um, uh, organizations from BMW through Mercedes to France Telecom to Toshiba. So these are the companies that have gained. The individual has gained nothing. So Weirbank addresses that. So the statement now for this update is any individual out there who wishes to contact Weir Bank will be given the opportunity to have all, each and every debt that they have incurred, no matter where, annulled or, uh, should we say, zeroed on the account by Weir Bank. So, we a bank will establish in your name an account and pay the creditor or creditors with a cheque that is a negotiable financial instrument and has a depth of, um, of uh, should we say, um, legal and lawful money behind it. So this is what we want to, to stress, uh, which is something very, very, uh, very um, significant and should be taken advantage of. Now, also what I'd like to mention is the fact that the um, people who will tell you that debt assumption is not possible uh, for whatever reason are only arguing because they'll argue black is blue and it, they're arguing it to suit their own means. Let's go back to the, form, the forming of the United States after the Civil War. Let's go back to a point in 1790 on the East Coast there in the area of Washington, D.C. as it's called now. If you look at two pieces of legislation, the first one called the Residence Act, 19, 1790, and also an act that was passed with the same piece of le as legislation as a bargaining tool was also something called the Assumption Act of 1790, and in the 1790 Assumption Act, the debts of the federal states were assumed by Washington, by the, another authority. Um, so there is a precedent for it to happen. Um, it was the founding uh, financial instrument for the United States uh, of America. But we also must remember, if you look at the Resident Act, Residency Act, you will also see that the area for Washington, D.C. was a diamond of a roundabout, not a roundabout, excuse me, a diamond of 10 miles each side, 10 square miles. And it was formulated in that shape to emulate, on a scale of 1 to 10, the square mile of the City of London. So the City of London Knights Templar put their mark, their territorial spiking marks, or lot, onto the United States. And Washington, D.C. 
is located inside that diamond. And that diamond therefore represents the fact that the United States, uh, Washington DC, is not part of any state in the, um, in, the, in the states of the United States, but it has a, uh, uh, an authority and a uh, regalian right in and of itself, owned then totally by the city of London as the smaller square mile. Now that's very important when it comes to the special relationship between the United States and the so-called English or British connection. It's special because England owns it. Okay, um, So I'm going to leave that there with you for now. Um, so this is really just to clarify. Debt assumption works. Assumption, Assumption Act 1790, proves it's got a precedent. We also look to the fact that the debts that have been put upon you because you've had your line of credit removed from you because of the bankrupting of the global countries in 1931, 1933, means that the debts that you are shouldering are immoral, and there is a precedent. See the Bush regime in the early part of, I think it was 2002, 2001, who refused to pay any of the debts that um, um, Saddam Hussein had run up because they said that these were immoral debt. It has a precedent. So, they can't run with their hair and hunt with their hands. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. If it's good for them, it's good for you. And We Are Bank will deliver that. So get in touch with We Are Bank. We will use the quantitative easing to the tune of one trillion to remove your debt with a viable instrument delivered to the court or your creditor so-called. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.